Hello everybody, Jamie here with Tree Puncher Support, doing a video today on world management. So what does world management mean? Well today I'm going to show you how to create a new world, how to back up your world, and how to upload a world that you've either backed up or downloaded from another source so you can play them on your server. Just so you know, I'm using the Chrome browser and a Windows 7 PC, but this will work on any browser or any OS that you have. So let's get started. I'm going to show you first how to create a world and what you want to do is log in to your game management panel with the credentials that are emailed to you when you signed up. So once you sign in, you will see your dashboard, which lists every single service you have open with Tree Puncher. Of course, we have a lot of services on this dashboard because we have, this is our testing account, so we have all these services, but uh, you will usually only have one or two. So what you want to do is click into the service that you want to edit the new world for. I want to make a new world on this vanilla server, so I'm going to click right here and get into this. So this is your server management page. You have a lot of options for different sort of management. What we are looking for today is a default config files and the file manager. So to create a new world, you need to make a new entry into your server.properties file. So if you go to default config files, right here you can edit your server properties. You also have got whitelist and ops.txt, but we can get into that into different videos. We're focused just on the server properties here. If you hit edit on this, you'll see that there is something called level name. Right now, we've got it uh, on something called basketball, it's because we did our basketball video on this server, but if you want to create a new world, literally all you have to do is change this to a different name. So let's name it to Gramophone. I don't know why, that's the first thing that came to my mind, but that's what our new level name is called, Gramophone. So if you hit save, then I'll save file updated successfully. All you need to do is restart your server and once you log into your server, it'll be in a brand new world with the level name Gramophone. And what the level name actually corresponds to is literally just the file name in, or sorry, pardon me, the folder name in the file manager. So if we go to our file manager now, we'll see that we have a world called Gramophone. And then our old world, it doesn't get deleted, doesn't get overwritten or anything. Our old world was basketball, it's right there. And then we also have the original world called world. There's no limits to the amount of worlds that you can have on your server, just so you know, you can have as many as you'd like and switch between them. And if you want to go back to basketball, all you have to do is type into the default config files in the server management, type in basketball. So that's how you create a new world. So let's move on on how to back up your world. So let's say I want to back up this basketball world. And we have this file manager here, which is super great. You can download and upload files, but only files. You can't do whole folders. So that's why we use something called an FTP client, which means that you get much more control of the files that are on your server. So this is very basic functionality here in the browser, but we can get much more advanced functionality and you have as much management as possible on the files on your server. So here at Tree Puncher, we like using FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP client that's easy to use and is cross-platform. So if you go to filezilla-project.org, you see these quick download links right here. Make sure you get the download the FileZilla client, not the server, the client, because you're connecting to a server and you are the client. So make sure that you're getting the client. Once it's downloaded, go through the install steps. It's super easy. And then you'll be greeted by a window like this. This is FileZilla and I'll show you how to use it in just a second. So. If we go back to our Kerplunk Gaming Management page and we click on File Manager, you'll see that you have FTP details right here. This is how you connect to your server using FileZilla or any other FTP client. So the IP corresponds to this host box right here. Host would be then 66.228.54.97. The username is just your your game management username and the password is your game management password and then the port is 21 and then you hit quick connect and you'll start connecting to the server so you saw some things pop up on the right two boxes here so if i expand this i can show you a little bit more clearly the right side of this program is your server and the left side is your local machine so this is my desktop right here as you can see it says local site 
user Jamie desktop. So if I click on tree puncher, I've got a folder here that I want to back up my things to. And then on the right side here, it says just slash, which is the root directory of your server. So you'll need to click through to get to the server that you actually want. Like I said, we have a couple services on our uh, account. So you'll see multiple entries here, but the one we want corresponds to the port number. So here the port number is 25566, and that's what the port number on our server is. So this is the server that I want. Click on that, and you can see everything that we saw on the file management page now is here on the right side of this FTP program. So basically, to back up a world, all you have to do is drag and drop to the left side of the program. Of course, my, uh, my drag was a little bit weird there because I dragged so slowly. But you can see now that you're getting basketball transferring over from your server to here. So here we go. My whole world is backed up and I've got nothing to worry about now. Just so you know, it also does work if you've included the shell extension for Windows 7. The drag and drop does actually work for going straight here to your to your um, just Windows Explorer window as well. Of course, mine's asking if I want to overwrite because it's already I've already transferred that over, and uh, you can hit cancel. And I'll just always use this Ansel. And, uh, I'll skip. Oh, this action. Okay. So I just skipped that so I don't have to back up anything. But here we go. Here's our world all backed up and everything. So that's how you back up a world. Moving on, I'm going to show you how to upload a world that you've either downloaded or backed up and then access that with your server. So on the website here, uh, Hypixel's website, he created a of PVP map that was very popular. I don't know if it still is anymore, but it was very popular for a long time called The Walls. So what you wanna do is just download this folder and then most likely you're gonna get a zip file. So here is the file that I downloaded from Hypixel's website, just right here called The Walls. So I double click this, you can see all of the different maps that he's got. We've got a 15 minute survival, a 30 minute survival, and a 50 minute survival. I like the 30 minute survival. So let's extract this zip I'll just hit extract all and I'll extract it to here. And there we go. It's extracting all these things. There we go. And now I have the world files ready to go into my server. And it's very simple. Uh, again, if you don't have the shell extension, then you'll want to, on the left side, click to where you have the world and then you can drag it over to the right side. So let's just grab that. I want the 30 minute, I'm gonna drag it over to my server. There we go, it'll start uploading this world to my server, and of course uploading does take a little bit longer than downloading, just because for some weird reason, internet service providers generally have better downloads than they have uploads. But uh, in the meantime, what you'll wanna do is copy the name of the folder that you uploaded. You wanna copy that name word for word. So I'm copying this right here. You can right click copy or I hit control C or command C if you're on a Macintosh. And you wanna get that exact name. So that's finished uploading now up here. And uh, we wanna go back to our server management. So back over here and we go to default config files. Now that we have the world actually on our, on our server now, all we gotta do is change the level name here in the server properties, just like we did before when we were creating and back uh, creating our world, we just changed it. What we wanna do is get the level name to be called exactly word for word, like complete copy and paste, what the folder is of the world that you want. So I want the walls PVP survival, absolutely. And then it says file uh, updated successfully. You wanna restart your server and now your server is running the walls. So that's how you upload a PVP map. It will work the exact same way for your backed up, map, backed up maps as well. And that's also how you create them. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, we will not be down in the YouTube comments below, but we will answer them at contact at treepuncher.com. Thank you very much for watching everybody and have a great day.